beautiful butterflies. How you doing today? I hope you're all doing well. I hope you like my hair. My hair is naturally curly and wavy. And I just like it when it's like that. It looks really pretty. Um, I want to say thank you um, for whoever subscribed to me. If you're new, please subscribe. And I'm doing a series of videos. This series um, is about my back surgery journey and, and healing to get a new back. And I will be doing different videos telling you like what, what I'm having done, why I'm having it done. And this video is I'm going to the doctor and I have to get cleared by this doctor. Um, if you have heart issues, you also would have to get cleared by your cardiologist. Um, and that's what I had to do and my family physician. I also have to get an echocardiogram um, to make sure my heart's okay. And then I would get an x-ray, an EKG, some blood work to check all the levels to make sure I'll be safe for surgery. Like your clotting um, factor um, to make sure you won't bleed and that you're able to clot if something would happen. So that is the first steps to get going to have a back surgery. After I get all this done, like I said, I have to go to this doctor and then go to get an echocardiogram. After I get that done, then I would do the tests that I need, like blood work, like they'll schedule my surgery, okay? They'll schedule my surgery. And then close to that surgery date, before maybe a week or so, I would get blood work done, um, an EKG, and a chest x-ray, and whatever else they need. So I am doing a series of, of what is going to be going on with my back surgery, with my back surgery journey from the surgery to healing, and this is like a year-long process. And I will tell you why, but I hope you enjoy this um, video, and if you can't wait to do for me to do the series, thumbs it up, and I hope you will learn things, and if you have to have the same surgery as me, I hope it will help you. I will see you in the next video. Love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye!